Hello everyone, welcome to In 5 Minutes. In this video, we are going to see the standard results of derivatives and integration. So first we have derivative of u into v. So here we are going to see what is u into v rule. Whenever we have the multiplication of two terms and we have to take the derivative of those two terms, then we have to follow the u into v rule. So u in v rule states that we first take the derivative of u, we keep v as it is plus we keep u as it is then we take the derivative of v so this is the u into v rule okay let's take an example if we have to find the derivative of e raised to x into x square then here we will apply u into v rule okay so now we will take the derivative of u that is e raised to x derivative is e raised to x we keep v as it is so we are keeping x square as it is plus we keep u as it is so we will keep e raised to x as it is then we take the derivative of v so derivative of v is x square so x square derivative is 2x so this term will become e raised to x x square plus 2x e raised to x so this is the derivative similarly whenever we have the two terms one in the numerator and one in the denominator and we have to take the derivative here we will follow u upon v rule so u upon v rule states that first take the derivative of u keep v as it is instead of plus here we have minus keep u as it is take the derivative of v divided by v square okay so let's say if we have the derivative of x square upon e raised to x so this will be our u and this will be our v so first we take the derivative of u so derivative of x square is 2x we keep v as it is so e raised to x will remain as it is minus we keep u as it is so we keep x square as it is take the derivative of v that is derivative of e raised to x is e raised to x upon v square that is e raised to x the whole square so it will become e raised to 2x so this is how we take the derivative when we have the terms in the numerator and denominator then we have the integration formulas so integration of f of x the whole raised to n into f dash of x whenever we can represent our equation in this form we have the direct formula for this that is f of x the whole raised to n plus 1 upon n plus 1 uh, let's take an example if we have integration of x cube into x dx so what is this integration so whenever we have the integration of this term now if you see here here we have x cube plus 1 the whole square into x square so here we have x cube term and here we have x square term so let's say if we take this term as f of x so our f of x will be x cube plus 1 then f dash of x will be 3x square here we have x square we do not have 3 so we multiply and divide by 3 so this term is now become f dash of x so this term is now matching with f of x the whole square into f dash of x instead of n we have 2 so this integration will be f of x that is x cube plus 1 the whole raised to n plus 1 n is 2 so 2 plus 1 upon 2 plus 1 so this is how you can solve any complex integration by making in this format and we have the direct formula for this integration that is f of x the whole raised to n plus 1 upon n plus 1 similarly based on this formula we have the this one so f of x root of f of x in the denominator can be represented as f of x the whole raised to minus half in the numerator so we will have f dash of x into f of x the whole raised to minus half instead of n here we have minus half so when we put in this formula n equal to minus half we will get f of x minus half plus one upon minus half plus one so this formula will become f of x the whole raised to minus half upon minus half so by solving this we will get one minus half so this will be half upon half this two will go in the numerator so we will have two root of f of x so direct whenever we have the equation in this format that is f dash of x upon root of f of x its integration is directly two root of f of x then we have f dash of x upon f of x so this integration will be directly log of f of x how we can take an example if we have in the denominator x square plus 1 upon x 
if you see here if we consider this as f of x then f dash of x will be 2x in the numerator we have x so we multiply divide by 2 so this term is now f dash of x so this integration will be half log of f of x f of x is x square plus 1 okay so in this way you can directly write the integration when we have this form okay then we have integration of e raised to f of x into f dash of x this integration is nothing but e raised to f of x only how if we take an example if we have e raised to x square into x if we have this integration then this integration will be half e raised to x square how we got this if we take this term as f of x so our f of x is x square then f dash of x will be 2x here we have x so we multiply and divide by 2 so now this term has become f dash of x by using this formula we will have e raised to f of x so this half into e raised to f of x is x square okay so this is the direct form you should follow in the complex integration problem similarly we have e raised to x f of x plus f dash of x this integration is e raised to x into f of x so more such standard results we will see in our next video so stay tuned for our future lectures